Hey everyone, it's Joe and Isaiah from The Automator, and today we're continuing along with the chat GPT-3. It's amazing. In this tutorial, we're going to be exploring how to use OpenAI's tools to automate the coding process and generate code for your algorithms and scripts. Like, this is a really cool kind of approach. Right, and, and basically when we're talking about this is the fact that sometimes you already know what steps you want to come up with for a specific solution, but you want a basic template to start, right? So this is where we were playing with this and we came up with a very interesting uh, example uh, that let's go ahead and explore it together. So what I did is that I just thought about a problem or something that I wanted to do and generated some text. I'm going to paste it here so I don't have to write the whole thing now. Um, but here's what I said. I told the chat, hey, create a function in AutoHotKey that would take an argument and... Then it would create an empty variable. It would do this. It would do that. It would do this and then do that. So I already know more or less my solution to the problem, but I don't want to start coding all of that from it's, scratch, right? Basically wrote out the pseudocode, right? Right, exactly. So this is pseudocode. It has to happen. Right. This is what has to happen. Those are my end goals. So I'm just giving the chat end goals yep. and it would just do that for me, at least give me something to start with. Yeah, this is really good when you have a bigger overall project that you're trying to do, and there's no way you're going to get the tool to answer, how do I do all these things, right? But you're like, okay, now I have this section, and I want to solve this, but I know kind of what pieces I need to have back, right? Right. It's where, like, okay, this is this is where getting it to write our code for us, so. Right. So I just sent that, and this time it was really fast. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Well, we really should stuff. consider using the API that we wrote, right? And then it's right. a little more control. Right. But this now, is this, great. this is perfect, almost perfect. There's a few things that I would take a look into, but everything is good. And now it just it, it even provides me with a test. <laughs> so let's see. So what it's doing here, it also goes ahead and tells you more or less what the code is doing. You can test the count uh, uh, like 500 tests. This would search for an I for a file doing this. So again, I am really pleased with the result because I don't have to write all this. Now I just copy this section at least, and then just go ahead and play with it a little bit uh, and see what I need to change. For example, the loop command, maybe it's not 100% right. That has to be like this. Um, there are some other options here that is passing that might not be needed. Uh, this one of them, I think the one here is like making it recursive. So we'll look at that and verify that the loop command is written correctly. I know that this is correct. So it's grabbing the file names and then it's comparing the one that you passed to the one that is looping through. So again, this is great because it's doing the comparison that I wanted. Now, if they are the same, it's just going to grab it and break out of the loop and then return the file, which definitely that's exactly what it should do. So it should work. <laughs> so basically this should work. Um, in general, I would modify it in very little places, but it gave me a place to start. And we could do this for many other situations in which you already have an idea of what should happen, but you, you want to boilerplate to start off with you know yeah it's it's just amazing that is right so at this point i think um what we're going to do uh, one of the things that we have been trying with this is uh we already know some basic things that we want for a video for example and i give it step-by-step -step instructions of what i'm expecting and it gives me information that i could use to kind of like start getting better ideas because usually the ideas that it gives me is not like 100% usable, but I could just start with that and make a better tool. So this, I, I, I definitely think we are looking at very amazing stuff. And later on when this gets really precise with how it does stuff, maybe we could just copy the code and paste and it's going to work. <laughs> you know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. We, we talked about we're going to be creating our own environment with uh, training it on auto hotkey code. And so maybe this week we'll get to test some of that stuff. It's still just, it, it's crazy how much time it's saving us on so many things that we do. One, programming it on hockey, but also, like you said, just creating the titles for our videos and other stuff as well. It's very, very cool.
There you go. So uh, like the video if you learned something here and found this interesting. And if you want to learn a specific topic around this, comment below so we know to make a video on it. Uh, I think this is really game-changing stuff. And uh, let us know if you agree. And we appreciate it. Have a great day.